We're back again at Bike Week here at Willie's Tropical Tattoo Chopper Time Show. We love coming to Willie's. The reason we love Willie's because it's all about garage built, do-it-yourselfers, innovation. It's not about zillion dollar paint jobs. It's just about cool stuff, doing it yourself. Came across this awesome shovel head here. This is built by Bill Dodge of Bling Cycles. It's definitely a Bill Dodge machine. You can tell it has a name written all over it. And it ain't no trailer queen. Uh, we seen it last night at the burnout competition. And now it's here at Willie's today. Uh, great example of uh, what kind of bikes are here. These people really ride these bikes and use them. Right next to it is a really cool bike. It's actually a Sportster motor with pan type uh, rockers on it and a uh, Magneto setup on an Evo Sportster. Uh, jockey shifter on the other side. Man, this thing's just got all kinds of trick stuff on it. Something we keep seeing more and more of are uh, Yamaha XS650, like hardtails and bobbers. This is another good example of a, uh, a low buck kind of build. Turned out really, really good. BMX kicker pedal, um, custom board controls, really sharp set of pipes. He did a really good job on this. Neat bike. This shovel head was hiding in the back here. This is not only the coolest shovel head I've seen here, this is maybe the coolest shovel head I've ever seen. Um, there's just so much cool stuff. Awesome two into one, kind of the reverse side. I like how we did the mini coils there, that's different. Hard oil lines everywhere. I mean, the rocker covers, every, it's like every single piece of this bike has some sort of like custom touch to it. And then the paint is just ridiculous. Um, yeah, this is, again, this is why we come to Willie's. Ironheads could be the most utilized uh, motor for low buck choppers, and this is a really good example of what you can do with an Ironhead. This thing is really trick. He's got an awesome uh, manifold set up there for dual carbs. Uh, got a cool primary cover. He's got his four controls, look like shotgun barrels, uh, brass knuckle kicker. He's got a really ingenious way to mount a mirror that I've never seen done before, but I think actually might work. Uh, cool metal flake paint. This is just a good example of a, a nice iron head. Came across this pan head here. Something we use, we love, a well-used pan head. Nothing better than that. I'm saying he's got a pretty innovative front fender on there too. So we ran into Chopper Scotty here in the parking lot and uh, other than just having a cool shovel head, there's something pretty, pretty awesome about this. How long you had this bike? Since 1974, 39 and a half years. That, that's pretty ridiculously awesome. So what's going on with the frame in the front end? Uh, Donnie Smith built me this frame and built me this front end. It's 13 over. It's built for a stroker, which is what I originally put in it. And uh, he still supports us. He just sold me a brand new shock he had made for me in England. Just like JMP, who I'll be stopping on the way home <laughs> tomorrow to buy more parts. Thank you guys. Thanks, man. Thank you, man. I love you. This is a 1948 Nimbus. It's made in Copenhagen, Denmark. It's a four-cylinder inline shaft drive, and I go out of my way to find uh, oddball motorcycles. You, you did. Mission accomplished. Thank you. Another Yamaha here in the parking lot. This one's real cool. It's kind of all just uh, clear-coated raw metal, dirt slash hardtail style. You did a good job. Just a minimalist bike, and uh, it's like you could ride it anywhere. Really clean shovel head. I mean. That, that just kind of goes without saying here at, at Willie's, but man, this is awesome. Love the paint too, like a flat blue color. I don't think I've ever seen that. Uh, it's Magneto set up, keys in a seat, it's perfect. Uh, right next to it, we got a pretty awesome Triumph, uh, silver and black, just a little bit different uh, than most of the like Triumph kind of chops you see. Hardtail, real narrow, narrow rear end. Uh, cool bikes just seem to cluster together around here, and we got a really cool flathead. Uh, red and black. What other, you know, what, what other colors are there for hot rods? And this awesome shovel head. Again, kind of all bare metal. Just, I don't know what to say anymore. There's every shovel head here is bitching. I keep telling you guys time and time again. You want to see the cool stuff? You gotta come to Willie's. The stuff you're seeing on Main Street on a guy's bike you think is cool, I seen at Willie's five years ago. These guys, the innovators. This is where it's at. If you're in Daytona, you have to come to Willie's.